Retired President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration borrowed 105 billion Kenyan shillings in its last four months in office, a Treasury document indicates. This translates to 26.25 billion borrowing each month from May 1st to August 31st. According to a document signed by the then National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Yatani, tabled in Parliament on Wednesday, the borrowings were from six loans that were procured to finance various multi-billion shilling development projects across the country. The document showed that the loans were meant to also finance small and medium enterprises, budget financing, strengthening regional development and cushioning the country against various challenges including COVID-19 and drought. Four of the loans were from multilateral lenders, one for bilateral lender and one from commercial lender. Most of the loans will mature for servicing in 2025 and I quote the total value of the six loans signed its equivalent to 105 billion Kenyan shillings one of the loans has been par partially disbursed by the time of submitting this report and quote the document indicated and was tabled by majority leader Kimani Ishungwa the last regime also sought 15.6 billion Kenyan shillings from the International Development Association on June 29th to enhance pastoralist access to financial services for drought risk mitigation. The Jubilee administration further secured 12.7 billion shillings from IDA for East African Regional Statistics Program to strengthen regional harmonization, dissemination, and social statistics for Kenya, Rwanda, and Tanzania.